So I would like to move House File 50, uh, excuse me, 2553, recommended passed and moved to the Civil Law Committee. I do not have any amendments for this bill. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> So House File 2553 amends Minnesota Statute 518B.01, Subdivision 3A, and it's to waive the respondent filing fees. And to go into more detail, I'm going to have Rebecca Moses testify to this bill as well. Oh, go ahead, ma'am. Thank you, Chair Cornish and members of the committee. I'll repeat that I'm Rebecca Moses with the Minnesota Coalition for Battered Women. Um, and the issue, again, that we're here to address today is respondents being charged filing fees to access the court in order for protection proceedings. So current statute waives the filing fees for petitioners in order for protection proceedings. However, current statute gives the courts discretion as to whether they charge the respondent filing fees. This has always been the case in the Domestic Abuse Act. However, recently we're hearing that courts are beginning to charge respondents. Um, so some of the courts that are charging respondents are courts in Hennepin County, Ramsey County, with the highest volume of orders of protection in any counties across the state. We've also recently heard that Washington, Otter Tail, um, and Crow Wing County are beginning to require filing fees. And you may be asking yourself, well, is the filing fee 25 bucks? Is this you know, uh, some sort of barrier to accessing the courts? Filing fees are $310 plus a library and technology fees. So typically it's looking like $330 that someone is having to pay to get access to the courts. Um, Again, we believe that if a petitioner's filing fees are waived, it is inherently unfair to charge a respondent filing fees. It creates an unequal system and due process concern. While petitioners pay nothing to fully engage with the system, respondents are being charged more or less $330, not $3,300, uh, creating a barrier for these respondents' opportunity to be heard. Um, we believe HF 2553 solves the problem that is we're talking about here today by waiving respondent filing fees, um, again, creating a fair system for both parties. Again, we would ask for your support of this bill. We appreciate the committee's time. We also appreciate Representative O'Neill for being our chief author and co-authors Representative Hillstrom and Representative Rosenthal. Um, and I'll stand for any questions. Okay, members, questions for Representative O'Neill on her bill? Mr. Chair. Uh, Representative Hillstrom. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This isn't about the bill. This is more about the process. So this is the first uh, bill that we have that uh, has a uh, expense. And so how are you going to be dealing with budget bills that cost money? Are you going to be having a target that we have to hit and um, we can send them to the floor? Or is this something that, um, you know, the House Ways and Means Committee will allocate a certain amount of money for all bills that cost money and they'll be sent on their way? The reason why I'm asking, Mr. Chair, is I support this bill. I'm very much in favor of it. But if we have a limited pot of money and I have to prioritize what we're going to spend money on, I'd like to know that as we start spending the money, mm -hmm. Mr. Chair. Uh, Representative Hilster, in short, I would rather not spend money, but if we have any bills with money, we've got to send them to uh, Ways and Means, and I don't know what their future is after they hit there. Thank you. So, Thank you. individual basis. Mr. Chair. But no, we don't have any other direction than that. Mr. Uh, Chair, Representative O'Neill. So to that point, specifically on this bill, um, the fiscal note did come with a small cost, as you see uh, in this fiscal year, it'd be 29,000. Um, and moving forward in the tails, it was a little bit more. So the total of the three years moving forward would be 69,000. But what it doesn't take into account is the cost savings. And so we are talking with um, the courts to say, well, you know, if we're not having these improper, or excuse me, inform of poppers, thank you, <laughs> um, that that would save some money. And so, we're really, it's very possible that they could have a net zero change with this particular bill. Um, and we need a little bit more information from the courts because they weren't able to pull, pull together that portion of it since we're not doing the inform of papyrus hearing. So we're gonna be saving some on that side as well. Representative Kwam. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And either the chair or staff, the, I thought we had a little bit left from the target that was from the Ways and Means uh, resolution f last time so I was just you know maybe in the future we could you know look at what the remaining dollars that weren't used out of that uh, allotment sure I uh, not really following you but we'll, we'll look into that yeah 
as I'm aware, we haven't got any figures yet. So, um, Representative O'Neill. So, Mr. Chair, also, uh, the other bill doesn't have a fiscal note, but there should be some cost savings if we're not having, um, if we're not requiring to have a hearing. So, there will be some cost savings. We don't have that fiscal note. So, we're hoping that between the two bills and the package, it'll be a net zero. Okay, Representative Flanagan. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, Representative O'Neill, I just wanted to commend you for both of these bills. Um, as a child witness and as a survivor, I think they're very important. Um, and just thank you for your work, and I'm excited to support them. Any questions from members? If not, uh, Representative O'Neill, would you like to re renew your motion? Yes, Chair, I'd like to renew my motion that House File 2553 pass and be referred to the Civil Law Committee. And to that motion, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thank you, Representative O'Neill.